potential antiviral for SARS and SARS-like coronaviruses. Coronaviruses became a menace for some when this pandemic started, but there is a specific group that experts regard as the most impactful to human lives. This is subgroup 2B under the group of beta-coronaviruses. Subgroup 2B includes the coronaviruses behind SARS and COVID-19. At the University of California, Riverside, researchers discovered something that might be used as a potential antiviral not only against COVID-19 and SARS but also other SARS-like coronaviruses. The team first revealed an enzyme called papain-like protease or PL-PRO. This is one of the two proteases coronaviruses need to replicate and quiet down immune responses. So the enzyme is a perfect target for new therapies. However, the team wanted to know if this key enzyme exists in many coronaviruses. If yes, it may lead us to a pan-coronavirus therapy. In the paper published in ACS Infectious Diseases, they laid out similarities in biochemical function among PL pros in the SARS virus, COVID-19 virus, and other SARS-like viruses confirmed in bats and other species. They identified that subgroup 2B SARS-like coronaviruses have more than one thing in common. These viruses also share the same target in hosts, a very specific form of ubiquitin. This is a small protein found in eukaryotic cells. It means that plants, animals, and humans have this protein. Ubiquitin is an ornamental that should be removed whenever we want. The protein plays a role in immune pathways, which is why coronaviruses target it. Besides, the PL pros investigated were found to have evolved into something else. They would seek a ubiquitin-like protein called ISG15. At a glance, it seems coronaviruses got us all figured out. Maybe, but the discovery of their selective targeting gives us something to work on. Researchers analyzed PL pros in SARS-CoV-1, SARS-CoV-2, and BTS-CoV RFL2004. They tested two small molecular scaffolds and pushed their limits. They ended up with antiviral properties against more than one type of coronaviruses. The testing yielded 30 compounds dubbed as subgroup PL pro inhibitors. In theory, these should inhibit PL pros and cripple the viral replication process. Unfortunately, the study is too early to bring out a new COVID-19 treatment. Our goal is to open the door to future therapeutic design considerations for targeting PL pro as a strategy for pan-coronavirus subgroup 2B therapeutics, said lead author Scott Pagan. Although late for COVID-19, the findings will become useful in preventing future coronavirus pandemics. Remember, there are numerous unaccounted for coronavirus strains in the wild, and we have no idea which one of them will cause a rucus soon. Do you agree with pan-coronavirus therapies? What preparations do we need to prevent another coronavirus pandemic? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.